Hi, my name is Jim Thorstad, and I'm a solutions architect here at Databricks. In this video, I'll show how volume sharing makes many data and AI sharing use cases even better. Volumes makes it easy to include non-tabular data, like images, documents, and other files, in your Unity Catalog governance strategy. With volume sharing, you can include these files with the data and AI assets you share with other organizations. For example, you can provide sample image files to show how an image classification model works, or you might provide sample PDF documents to show what a generative AI model can do. Let's see how volume sharing works in a quick demo. Here I'm Alex, an ML engineer using Azure Databricks. I'd like to share an image classification model I created with collaborators in different organizations around the world. To make things simple for everyone, I've created a Getting Started notebook that shows how to use the model to classify some sample pet images, which I'll include. In this cell, I'll show them where the images are and how to view them. Here, I'll show them how to import MLflow, load the model, and give it some images to classify. These examples right here in the notebook will help everyone see what my model does. Let's go over to this catalog and see all the assets that make up my project. Here's my model, and here is the volume of sample images. I've organized them into separate folders for each type of pet. By default, these images are served from my cloud storage, so I will be responsible for data egress fees. But I can also configure volume sharing over Cloudflare's Edge platform to eliminate egress charges and improve file serving performance. I've already created a delta share. Now let me show you how easy it is to include the volume of sample images. In the Shared by Me page, I'll choose my collaboration project. Here's my clip zero shot classification model, and here's the getting started notebook. The recipients tab shows who I'm sharing these data and AI assets with. Let's go to manage assets and I'll add the sample images volume you've seen me use within the Getting Started notebook. That's all I need to do to include sample image data with my Delta Share. Now let's see what volume sharing looks like from the perspective of a sharing recipient. Here I'm signed into an AWS Databricks workspace as a research collaborator. Alex has just messaged me that he shared a new AI collaboration project that I've been waiting for. I'll go to Delta Sharing and click on Shared with Me. Here's the Delta Sharing provider that Alex belongs to. And here is the collaboration project he's sharing. Let's register this with my Databricks environment. I'll put it in a catalog called AI Demo and then I can see what Alex has created. I see there's a volume of sample images and a model. The volume includes two folders with sample pet images. That's nice. I can try classifying these with his model. Under the Other Assets tab, I see there's a Getting Started notebook. I'll clone this notebook to my workspace so I can run it and make changes to it. I'll set the catalog name to the one I created a moment ago. Oh, and I'll attach my GPU cluster. I can see this first cell sets the catalog name variable. And here are the sample images. I see I can reference these images Alex shared with this volume syntax and the local catalog I created. Let's see how the model works. I'll import MLflow and configure it to use Unity Catalog. Then I load the model, and here I see we are combining the image folders, choosing some random images, setting up our labels, and then using the model to classify the images we selected. 
Here the model identified this one as a dog, here's a cat, and so on. Cool. The model works great. It's nice to have all these cat and dog images integrated into the notebook example. It makes it really easy to try out the image classification model Alex shared. You can manage volumes in your Delta Sharing projects using the UI, as I've just shown, or with SQL, the Databricks CLI, and with our REST APIs. Give it a try and get the most out of Delta Sharing with Databricks.